How's it going everyone and welcome back to the video proc converter YouTube channel now into today's tutorial We're going to be showing you how to take multiple video clips and merge them into one video file Now we're going to show you two different methods one of those using video proc converter and one of them using video proc vlogger Now if you don't know what video proc vlogger is it is their new video editing software, which is completely free literally no watermarks and no limits on the amount of files now video proc converter does limit with the free version so you can only convert or merge up to five minutes of video with the free version however they do have some amazing offers on the paid functions now with that being said let's get straight into the tutorial so to merge the clips using video proc converter you're going to want to open the video proc converter program and then just simply click video when you are on this page here, all you have to do is add some video files. Now, these will be the video files you want to merge together. So for the sake of this, we are going to go into some video clips and we're going to add three clips from here. Now, this will put them in this box here and this will be the order that the clips are merged. So what we're going to do first is change the order. So we're going to want this where the dogs are just walking with the owner. We're going to put that at the top. So just click the arrows here up and down. So we're going to put that at the top. Then the dogs are going to be running and then they're going to just be sitting around at the end. Now, all you have to do simply is click toolbox in the bottom right hand corner. And then click merge. Make sure that's highlighted. Use high quality engine and click run. Now, with this it's super fast to do, it will then open up in a folder for you and you'll be able to watch the full video clip of the actual merge. So it doesn't have any delay in transition. There are no transitions added, so it doesn't do any special effects on transition. But as you'll see, basically he just walked the dog here. This is the first video clip. And then it should automatically clip into the second. And it will just look like an automatic, like you've actually sort of edited it like that. So here's the second clip. And then it will go into the final clip um, in the order that we put it in. Now, as I say earlier, you can do this up to five minutes long with the free version or unlimited time with the paid version. So there's definitely some good offers on the paid version as well. If you do want to check them out, uh, just go to videoproc.com. And again, you can change the order as much as you want. And you can have quite a lot of video files actually here. Um, if especially if you've got the full version, that's more than five minutes. Now there is another way of doing this and that's using video proc vlogger. And we're going to show you how to do that right now. So now let's show you how to use video proc vlogger to merge your clips. Now video proc vlogger is their free video editing software with no watermarks and unlimited amounts of functionality. There is nothing limited in this software. Now, when you open it, you're going to come up with a create new project page and you're just going to name that whatever you want. We're going to call that merge. We're going to select where the end file will be saved and then the video resolution. Now, the video clips I'm using are 4K, so we're going to leave that at 4K. But if they are, say, 1440p or 1080, you can do that also. The frame rate, we're going to leave at 60, but this does go all the way up to 120. We're going to click add new project. And you will get a standard video editor overlay. Now with this, what you're going to want to do is add some media files, which is the video files to this panel here. So you can basically drag and drop the media files there. Or you can just press add, add media, and then go ahead and find your video clips, which are here. And we can add them all at the same time. So as you can see, the video clips are here under video. If there's any music, you can add it here. You cannot add music or do anything like that on the converter. You will have to do that on Vlogger. So if you wanted to put music on, you could add some music tracks here and put it over the top of this. So all you're going to do here to merge these clips is simply find the order you want. So we had earlier, we had the walking dogs. So just drag and drop on a video track. So make sure this is a video track right here. Just drag and drop the file. And then the next one that you want, just drag and drop that right next to it. And then the one after, again, drag and drop in that order. So now you literally have the whole video file. Let's skip through it so you, you will see the transition. So the whole video file will now basically just skip through as before. 
So just make sure it's in the correct order that you want. And it looks as good as it says. Yeah, there we go. Like it looks perfect. Everything is there. There's no gaps. If you do have any gaps, you might just have to drag the file over slightly just to get, um, get it a bit closer to make sure it's actually joined up here. Now, all you do then is simply go to export. And then it will bring up the export settings. Again, just name it, merge for me, the format MP4 or MKV. What quality you want. So we're going to go high quality, high quality engine, codec H264 or, or HEVC 265. So we're going to go 265. Frames, 60 frames, because it's only a video. You can actually do this at 30 because it's only literally a video clip. It doesn't really matter um, unless you wanted it at 60. Enable the hardware acceleration. That just basically means your um, GPU will be doing the acceleration for the encoding. And then just click Start. So this process can take a different amount of time for different file sizes. So as you can see, this is not a huge file size, so it's going up quite fast. Um, so just be wary if you are if you are using sort of big file sizes or gigabytes of files, it will take a little while. So you might want to just have to wait slightly. So now we have the video here. It is saved under merge on our desktop. So we're going to open up the video and show you exactly that same video clip, you can see it's 39 seconds, the same as the last one. Um, and it's absolutely flawless. You know, it's 4K quality. It's 60 frames per second. And it is really fast and easy to use. Now, again, like I say, with Video Pro Vlogger, you can actually add music. You can add different things to the uh, merges. So you can even add transitions if you didn't want it to merge like this. You can add text overlays or emojis and stuff like that. So guys, if you want to see more on Video Proc Vlogger as well as Video Proc Converter, comment in the comment section below just saying Video Proc Vlogger or Video Proc Converter. Which one did you prefer? And if you're new to merging or creating videos, type in the comment section below. Just let us know how new you are or if you're a veteran, and you've learned something today. So now we're at the end of the tutorial. I just wanted to answer some FAQ. So basically frequently asked questions about merging videos. Now one of those is can you add audio? Now we touched on this earlier on in the video. However, yes, you can add audio to your merge video file, but only using video proc vlogger. Video proc converter will not allow you to add music files or edit the audio files within the videos. If you want to do that, you will need the video editor, which is Video Proc Vlogger. Now, another question we get asked quite a lot is what video file types should you use or what video file types can you merge or convert? Now with Video Proc Converter, you can merge any video file type you like. That's MP4, AVI, anything you want. However, with Video Proc Vlogger, it is limited to MP4 or MKV file types. We recommend using MP4 no matter what anyway, because it's the most recognized video file in the world. Now, if you have any questions, be sure to put them in the comment section below. We will answer them all. Also, let us know if you have learned anything from today's tutorial and give us some feedback on what you feel about Video Proc Vlogger and Video Proc Converter. The links for both programs will be in the description below. With that being said, everyone stay safe, take care, and we'll see you all in the next tutorial.